All right, well, good evening, Lighthouse. Uh, we have some bad news from ESCOM. So, so we are load shedding uh, in half an hour. So we are going to make use of that time and worship the Lord. Amen? Amen. It's Easter celebration service. So for the next half an hour, we are going to go absolutely bought in His presence. We're going to have a great time. So let's get up on our feet. We're going to praise His name. For those of you who were at the baptism service this morning, there's some of you here tonight who are baptized. We praise the Lord for that. And uh, yeah, let's pray. Heavenly Father, we welcome you in this place tonight, Lord. And Father, it, it, it may be the world's plans to do load shedding and things like that, but nothing's going to stop you. Nothing's going to stop you from moving in this place, Lord. So we're going to give you our all tonight, Father. We're going to worship you passionately, Lord, with all of our hearts. In your name. Amen? Amen. 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 I was buried beneath my shame. It was my turn till I met you. I was breathing, but not alive. All my failures I tried to hide. It was my turn. Till I met you, you called my name. You call my name 
Father, because you are good, you are faithful. Jesus, everything you said you were going to do, you did. Everything you said, Lord. 
Father, our faith hangs on this weekend. Not just because you died, but because you rose again. And what more can we say but thank you, Lord. Thank you, Father, for that hope. Thank you, Father, for the hope that we have in you. And we worship you in this place, Lord, because of that hope. You are good. You are good, Lord.
We thank you for your bloody God. We pour out our thanks to you, Father. We say thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. Thank you for the blood. was a wretch. I remember who I was. I was lost. I was blind. I was running out of time. In sin, separated, the breach was far too wide. But from the far side of the chasm, you had me in your sight. You Made a way across the great divide, left behind heaven's throne to build it here inside. And there at the cross, you paid the debt I owed, broke my chains, freed my soul for the first time I had hope. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood applied. Thank you, Jesus, it has washed me white. Thank you, Jesus, you have saved my life, brought me from the darkness into glory. And you took my place, laid inside my tomb of sin. You were buried for three days, and then you walked right out again. And there has no sting, and life has no end.
Jesus. Thank you, Jesus, for the blood applied. Thank you, Jesus, it has washed me white. Thank you, Jesus, you have saved my life, brought me from the darkness into glory. brought us from the darkness into glorious light, Lord. There is nothing stronger. There is nothing stronger than the wonder-working power of the sons and daughters we are ransomed by our father through the blood the blood there is nothing stronger than the wonder working power of the blood the Calls our sons and daughters. We are ransomed by our Father through the blood. The blood. we were singing about um, the blood, I just felt the Lord want, like, wanted to lead us into some scripture. And Hebrews 9 speaks about this very thing about redemption through the blood of Christ. And I love what it says. It's so powerful. It says this from verse 11. But when Christ appeared as high priest of the good things that have come, then through the greater and more perfect tent, not made with hands, that is not of this creation, he entered once for all into the holy places, not by means of the blood of goats and calves, but by means of his own blood, thus securing an eternal redemption. For if the blood of goats and bulls and the sprinkling of defiled persons with the ashes of hypha sanctify for the, for the purification of, of the flesh, how much, will, how much more will the blood of Christ, who through the eternal spirit offered himself without blemish to God, purify our conscience from dead works to serve the living God? Man, I, as we just sing this, I just see the Lord or the Holy Spirit just freeing us from that place of, you know, dead works. And the blood is washing over us and we're able to serve a living God. Not by, our, not by our own strength, not by our own works, but by His perfect blood, which even today still covers us and still allows us to access into His wonderful and beautiful presence. So I just encourage us as we continue just to remember that, that His blood is perfect. His blood has covered us and He saved us from dead works to serve a living God. There's nothing stronger. There is nothing stronger than the wonder-working power of the blood. The blood that calls the sons and daughters. We are ransomed by the Father through the
Unfortunately, we do want to just land the worship before the power goes off now, and we can just switch.